Hi guys, this is Selena, and this is my pre-vlog for Mega Unit 1, Lesson 1, Escaping the Mousetrap. Uh, this is going to be the first class for many students in this class this week. Uh, it's going to be really important to explain all the rules really clearly before they go into the project. For example, everyone has to work and everyone is responsible for some part of the project. Uh, since it's first class, it's also going to be really important to control and have student management. That being said, I think it's going to be important to open the IDA with the class discussion on various kinds of BCI technology. This will help the students generate interest and ideas for their own group work later when they're going to choose their kind of BCI technology to talk about. Also, once they get to the group discussion, it'll be important to remind them. It'll be crucial to remind them to write all their brainstorming and ideas on S-Note. This is to ensure that they don't forget any of the good ideas that they come up with for their scripts that are going to come up after. Also, having something down on paper or digital paper will make sure that everyone is on the same track, on the same page. And for the materialize, I think it's going to be really helpful for the students if the teachers took time to explain the list of expressions on the page so that they can use them later when they come up with their scripts. And speaking of scripts, when they move on, I think it's going to be crucial to divide up the work so that one person is doing the sketch while coming up with the script to explain that drawing and then the other three or less depending on your group work on the benefits of the BCI technology. The group members will all write this on SNO which is the most simple and efficient way to write notes at this point and it'll be important for the teacher to give guiding questions to write them on the board or on the TV. For example, you could do one, write a benefit, and then two. Why or how is this beneficial or helpful for people in the future? And three, give an example of how this technology might be used to help people or something like that. So having something concrete like that will definitely help the students to come up with a better script since they'll have a more clear idea on what the teacher expects. Once the script's done and over with, I'm going to move on to the prepare and I'm going to help the entire class come up with their introduction and conclusion. Since the students are probably going to face mental breakdown if they want to come up with their own introduction and conclusion, it'll be helpful for them if the teacher helped them just this class since they have no idea. If there is time, I'm going to do a mini tutorial on Polaris Office so that my students can take advantage of the PowerPoint with pretty images and some text. If you decide to do this, it's going to be important to remind the students that they can only connect one tab, so the PowerPoint should be on the same tab as the one with the sketch and drawing on it. Also, not mentioning the PowerPoint until after they're done the scripts is going to be really crucial since this ensures that they're not going to fool around and they're going to finish their script on time. And if you don't have time for this, ask the students to look up Google Images and to search for pictures they want to show on the TV screen while delivering their presentation. Last but not least, make sure that your students practice their presentations. Uh, tell them, remind them, emphasize that practice does make perfect and that the more they practice, the better their presentations will be. One of the major issues I can foresee is that there might be chaos. Uh, on one hand, the students might get too excited since it's their first project and also it's a pretty exciting topic that they can relate to. But on the other hand, it might get chaotic just because they have no idea what's going on and it might be very difficult for the teacher to be everywhere at the same time. So it'll be crucial to manage your time. Set a time limit for each portion of the uh, project and make sure that you keep to it. So show the timer on the screen and go around, make sure everyone's doing the work. Basically, student management is going to be key in making your life and the students' lives easier for this week. So take things slow and don't have too high expectations for your students since it's their first week as well as it's yours. So just have fun with them. So that's it for my pre-vlog this week and next week I'll be back with my post-vlog for this lesson. So thank you for watching and please watch the post-vlog when it comes up too. Have a great week one!